friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new to my channel and you have no idea who I am, hi, I'm Sophia. <laughs> if you do know me, welcome back. So today I decided to film a video that is honestly super, it's probably the most common question that I get in real life, like from my friends, from people who like will see me at competitions, like literally it's probably the question that I get asked the most often, which is, how I curl my hair. Nine out of ten times, my hair is kind of curled with like all these curls at the end of my hair. Um, I do not use any heating tools to get my hair like this. I do not curl my hair with a wand. I don't curl my hair with a straightening iron. I literally just twirl it. And that comes across to people as very like, what? What do you mean you twirl it? Like, and it just lasts like that? Yes. It does. <laughs> I decided I would film a video about it because at first I honestly didn't want to film a video on it because it's literally just a video about me twirling my hair. Like it seems very self-explanatory, but I get literally so many questions and people don't believe that it's literally just, I just twirl it. That's it. And a lot of people are like, what do you mean you just twirl it? Like that can't be it. That's not all there is to it. And how does your hair last like that? Whatever. So I decided to make a video kind of explaining a very in-depth process. <laughs> of exactly how I twirl my hair, how I get the curls to last, and all that stuff. So if you are interested to see how I get my hair curled like this and make it look like I spent a lot of time on my hair when I really, really did it, then keep on watching. And let's just get into the video. <laughs> so obviously I am not in the typical area that I would be filming a video. I am actually in my bathroom right now because I just took a shower and washed my hair. First things first, obviously I took a shower. I washed my hair and I put it in this towel at 7.54 and it's now 8 o'clock so it's been up in a towel for like 5 minutes or so. When I did wash my hair, I used the Tresemme Color Revitalize Shampoo and Conditioner. I used the matching set. I do have um, slightly color treated hair. I have a balayage so the ends of my hair are a little bit more damaged. That's all I do when I wash my hair is I just use the shampoo, wash it out and then condition the ends. I only put shampoo in the top of my hair and then I put conditioner on the ends of my hair. And then I wash it out and that's it. Once it's been like in a towel for literally just a little bit of time, I'll take it out and I'll kind of just squeeze the ends of it to make sure that all of the water is gone. And now my hair is just a wet mess. <laughs> Once I've taken my hair out of the towel, it looks pretty much like this. Um, and I kind of just comb it through. I got this from the salon that I get my hair done at. I don't know how well you can see that, but I love this spray. I use it every single time I wash my hair and it's basically like a detangler. It's like helps the color last longer. Um, it has like all the benefits on the back of it. It's 21 benefits, so I'm not going to read all of them, but it's basically like protecting the color, protect the um, damage. It helps like not damage your hair as much, detangles it, prevents split ends, all the typical stuff that you would expect something like this to do. I use the comb by Wet Brush. It's got like the super, super big um, like bristles. And I'll comb my hair from the bottom to the top. I never just start from the top and brush it through because you get more knots in your hair that way. So I'll always start combing my hair from the bottom and bring it all the way up. Now that I've brushed my hair, it's all straight, there's no knots or anything like that, the biggest misconception that people have is that now I immediately start twirling my hair, which I don't. I wait until my hair is at least, like, I'd say 30 to 45% already dry, because if you start twirling your hair right now, while your hair is still very, very wet, it's not gonna hold the curl. I have naturally, like, wavy-ish, very textured hair, so it kind of works for me a little bit better, but I do have friends who have tried doing this who have naturally completely straight hair and the curls don't hold. This is not a foolproof method. I'm not saying that, you know, if you do all these steps, your hair is gonna turn out like this after you twirl it. It might not. It just really depends on the type of hair that you have. I normally wait until I see that my hair is like starting to dry a little bit before I go to start twirl it. So. Right now it's 8.05 and I will let you know when it's gotten a little bit drier. It's now 8.13, like I said, my hair, the ends of it are already kind of starting to dry. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but because I have a slight balayage, 
the ends of my hair dry very very quickly you don't want to wait too long because if your hair gets too dry it's obviously already going to be dry it's not going to twirl, twirl as well so now that i have the ends of my hair are pretty dry the tops of it is still wet but i mean that doesn't really matter um so i pull all of my hair to my right side because the majority of my hair falls to my right side because that's where it's parted if you have a middle part or you part your hair if you part your hair to the opposite side you would probably want to pull all of your hair to that side i literally will pull it all to the right side use my fingers to kind of make sure that it's all smooth all the way around and i just pull it like as if i was about to do a side ponytail kind of i kind of like to do it a little bit behind my ear but it's not that serious and this is how the back of it looks i'll kind of start smoothing it over with my hands like as i go and i literally just start twisting it to the right and i just go all the way down and i'm like like using my fingers to brush through any knots that I might come across to make sure that it's like all nice and smooth. And I'm literally just twirling it all the way down. And that's it. <laughs> the biggest question that I always get is, well, wait, your hair stays like that? Like, that's it? It is now 8.16 p.m. I will sleep with my hair like this. Now, it does stay overnight. Sometimes it doesn't, but for the most part, it kind of does. Just because, like, for the rest of the night, I'll kind of, like, just go through and, like, twirl it with my finger, you know, just to make sure that the twirl holds. By the time I get in bed and I'm, like, ready to go to sleep, it's dry enough to hold the twirl, but still, like, it still needs to be, like, formed, I guess. It does stay overnight. I've, you know, had nights where I'll, like, roll over on my back and my hair is, like, off to the side, but it's still in the twirl because it's dried into that. It's, like, molded into the twirl already, so it doesn't easily separate. That's it. That's the twirl, and I will show you what it looks like in the morning. Hello. So it is now the next morning. It is currently 8.11 in the morning. I just woke up. I brushed my teeth and that kind of stuff, and my twirl is still lasting pretty well. Sorry if I sound a little weird. I literally just woke up. I'm gonna change my clothes and get ready and then I will update you guys after. And just like that we are back in my bathroom. <laughs> I changed my clothes. My hair is still in the twirl. As you can see it's kind of like falling out a little bit at this point. It's like super messy and whatever there are pieces that are already coming out but you can already see that like the curl started to form you know. So um, now it is 818. The twirl has pretty much been in for a good like 11 12 hours so now i'm literally just going to take my fingers and separate it just run my fingers through separate it and you can see my hair is super super curled at least on the ends which is exactly what i want and we have our totally heatless and super easy curls now, I personally like to take this a step further and because the tops of my hair have like a little bit of like waviness to it, whatever, that is not the look that I typically go for. So I do take a straightening iron and this is by the brand Royale and I literally will just like straighten over the tops of it just to get rid of any frizz or waviness that's going on up there. Once I have straightened over the tops of my hair, I'll just take my It's a 10 Miracle Shine Spray. Spray this all throughout my hair. And that's it. That is how I curl my hair using literally no heat. Obviously the straightening on the top is optional, but I choose to do that because I do not have naturally straight hair. It's pretty wavy and frizzy on the top. Obviously your hair might not turn out this way if you try the twirling method, but I mean, I hope it does. Um, I literally wear my hair like this for competitions, games, this is literally how I curl my hair. I never use a curling iron anymore, or a curling wand anymore because it actually doesn't work on me as well. You do not need to keep your hair in the twirl for 
12 hours overnight. I have showered and washed my hair before at midnight and woken up at 7 and done the twirl and it still worked pretty fine. It really just depends on when you start twirling it if your hair is dry enough when you do. And that is it. I know that it seems kind of crazy like how did my hair just last in a twirl for you know that long and all of a sudden my hair is super super curly but try it and let me know what you think. If you do try it, please make sure to send me, you know, pictures, tweeting pictures, or message me on Instagram with your photos. I would love, love, love to see if it works for you. Um, be sure to leave a comment down below if you try it, and let me know if you did. Again, this might not work for everybody. It really just depends on the type of hair that you have. You literally never know unless you try. I didn't know that this would work for me until I just randomly one day tried it, and it ended up working. And I have done my hair like this ever since. So yeah. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below any other videos you might want to see or just leave a comment and you know what? Let me know what type of hair that you have naturally. Is your hair naturally straight? Is it naturally curly? Frizzy? Wavy? Let me know! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to. <laughs> but I think you should. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!